So, Ari, how do you feel at this moment? Uh, it's unbelievable. It's just such a good feeling, you know, be, being so happy. I've, ne I've probably never been so happy in my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to not be all out of words, but... Um, so I can answer some questions. You're all out of luck. <laughs> yeah, but I'm all out of luck. <laughs> yeah, you might say that. Yeah. But I'm just so thrilled, and it, this is a wonderful, wonderful time for me, and and just happy, so so happy. <laughs> it was uh, very interesting to see how the tide somehow turned, and suddenly it was your yeah. night. It it changed somewhere. Do you did you? Yeah. Was it the 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 interview in the green room? I, I don't really know. No. Uh, maybe, maybe you know. Or uh, just the performance? Uh, maybe the performance, yes. Uh, but, uh, you know, Dario, he did a fantastic job. Yeah. And, you know, this is this is just what the country decided. And, uh, and uh, you know, tides turn really quickly here in Iceland. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because we're only, you know, we're only 3,500, uh, 350,000, <laughs> <laughs> nearly, yeah, yeah. but yeah, and, and just, yeah, maybe, you know, other, other songs that didn't come through, uh, people uh, changed their opinion and started voting for me and for Tagore and I, I just, I really don't know. What I'm, no. I'm so surprised. Yes, there's always, we never know. We never know what does it. Thorin, yes. your second time in Eurovision. Yes, but this is my first time as a songwriter. Yes. I've been, I was a lyricist in 2011 with Sjöne's Friends, which was an amazing experience. Exactly. But this time I, I get the honor of being a songwriter and that is, I cannot describe the feeling that I, I have not taken this in yet but um, I'm really really happy to get a chance to get my song and my music um, and the message that the song carries which is very important to me um, so yeah I'm so excited I'm so proud of this like, I couldn't have found a better singer like in the world <laughs> that is just how I feel he's such an amazing person all and the way through and he's 19 years old and he's 19 and 19 going on I mean we're we're, we're best friends now I mean, yeah. we hang out and we have yeah. the same humor it's just like, <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, he's a very mature 19-year-old. Can you uh, briefly introduce the rest of your team for us? Yes, yeah. I can. Uh, this is Einar Thor, uh, one of the most, uh, the best guitarists in Iceland, and also uh, no, no. he has a, one in of the, the deepest. Top 600 <laughs> <laughs> and he has this amazing deep voice that is just a beautiful bass voice. <laughs> and then we have Erla Stefansdóttir. She's a bass player and a singer and a songwriter and lyricist herself. Also, um, yes, I have such a dream team. I cannot begin to describe this. Yeah, I can, I can uh, stand Bounce with you. Yeah. Watch for that one. Uh, I, I couldn't be happier going to Portugal with these people. <laughs> these people are the kindest and most beautiful persons I've ever met in my life. Yeah. One of them. Yeah. And this is Artna Rune Omostatir, uh, probably one of my best friends ever in the world, and um, amazing singer as well. She's a power diva with a, you know, one of the yes, also, just. Yeah, and Gunnar Leo Paulson, uh, bubbliest, amazing personality uh, and a drummer. One of the, um, yeah, he plays with so many bands here in Iceland. is a very sought after drum player. So this is my team. But most of all, these are just um, amazingly talented musicians to the core, and that's what we wanted to focus on in the song. It's all live. It's all played, and it's um, Vikner Snær produced it, yeah. and it's this is just music to us making music is the most important thing to us all of us so i'm so happy to present a team like that fantastic now is there anybody out here that has a question robin if you start uh, robin scott from northern ireland radio and from esc cars i detected a little emotion somewhere <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if this is how you feel in your contest here yeah. how are you going to cope with your revision oh man you're asking the most difficult question <laughs> <in your laughs> we'll, we'll train him well, I was able to get a little bit of 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 a to top myself, you know, to, uh, uh, you know, be in a 
uh, what do we say? Well, can I just, uh, yeah. I mean, I think one of the most important things for artists is actually to give. Yeah. And to give their emotions to other people. And people and artists that are able to do that, that is such a gift. And Ari has that in abundance. He gives and gives and gives. And I think that's exactly what he will do in Portugal. Yeah, I, I, to, uh, to, uh, to go along, uh, I just, yeah, to, to be able to present myself to Europe is going to be phenomenal. And uh, I just, I, I, <laughs> I'm all, all of, a lot of words. I can't describe how lucky I am and how excited I am to be I'm going. The young girls around Europe screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he so is there any other questions in the, in the, uh, is anybody who wants to ask anything? Yes. Um, ben Robertson, ESC Insight. As a 19 year old, going to Eurovision, but also going to Eurovision for Iceland, where, you know, no other country loves the contest as much as it does here. How does this win change the entire future for you? The entire... Sorry. Do you think this win is going to change your entire future? I think so, yeah. This is, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is an amazing start of an amazing journey, I hope. And I'm just going to keep the ball rolling and uh, I'm not going to stop. And I'm, I probably never want to stop this moment exactly right now and the moments on stage uh, I just hope to be there every time that I can yeah. yeah talk through that a little bit like that that performance right there on stage yeah. now how how special was that atmosphere in the crowd there was so much energy from the fans to describe that a little bit uh, yeah well um, <laughs> you know the atmosphere in the crowd was unbelievable. Uh, I think I've never ever uh, sang in, in front of a, such a beautiful and wonderful crowd. And you know, um, in this song, uh, the lyrics and the uh, the the message that's in the song, it, uh, it it connects with me deeply. You know that we all have a choice, and you know Iceland chose to, you know be so kind to me and you know probably that's that's one of the reasons why I cried <laughs> so much <laughs> um, and you know the, the feeling being on stage and, and feeling so much love from the audience and from Iceland it's it's indescribable. Right. This is not the first time you sing in uh, such a big for such, such a big audience because no, you've no, sang no. a few times in the Harpa musical yeah. uh, with Cecil Kirkebo yeah. in really big concerts since you were a young boy. Yeah. So this was different. Yeah, this is uh, much different, you know, uh, singing in front of a crowd. And now I'm singing in front of a little box. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, but uh, it's bo both, both feelings on both stage are unbelievable, you know, and this is why we do it, uh, singers. This is why we, why we sing uh, for, for these moments. And, and just being able to feel this is, is absolutely such, such a privilege. And I, I think that's very good uh, final words in this short press meeting. But thank you all very much for coming. All the people who have been here at Ari Olafsson is now going to win. And now we are going to win. And Thorin knows all about how it works. And we are going to win. And we are going to win. And we are going to win. And we are going to win.